In order to have days like this, you're going to have days like this. This is Tips on Tuesday. We're going to talk about what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. Stay tuned so you don't feel like doing this. If you like these videos, please subscribe and give us a like. And if you have anything to add to the conversation or any questions, please leave them below. And right in here, I'm not, I'm not really trusting any of the maps, so I keep a close eye on the Echo Pilot. Today we're going to talk about the forward-looking sonar. We have an Echo Pilot fitted on Aquarius, but what I want to show you first is how we used the Echo Pilot while we were sailing through Komodo National Park. Now it says it's coming up pretty shallow. I'm still at 30 meters. It's moving. Should be going to about 14 or so. There you go. But I saw that way before it got there. We've got something right on the side of us and uh, we're going to go to standby and we're going to do a loop right now. And I want to want you to see what it looks like so you can see what that looks like right over there. You can see Aquarius turn into the reef on the iPad, which has iSailor installed here and watch the Echo Pilot display as we come closer to the reef. This is shallow. Yeah, I know. So you see it coming up, coming up, coming up. That's what it'll look like if you're just about ready to hit. We're gonna back out of this. But we've got about 36 meters in front of us before it gets really shallow. That's why I think these are so important to have. Now I see something that's not on the chart. It's starting to come up. Coming up, coming up. Looks like 15 meters. And I don't see anything on the charts. To say it's gonna do that. Still coming up. I don't see anything on that chart either. Coming up to 15. That's way in front of us, 15. So we'd have time to back down now if we wanted to. Yeah, it's coming to 10. Let's see what it shows on this. 16 meters. Now what I'd like to show you is how the Echo Pilot saved Aquarius twice from hitting the reef. We arrived in Macamo and we docked near the pier at the main town. Oh my god, we found paradise. We were with Magic and we tied up to the dock. After about three days, we decided to go to the east side of Macamo. Except for the hundreds of balmies, it's pretty much 50 to 100 meters within the atoll. For the most part, the interior portions of the atolls are uncharted, and our path would take us by many uncharted balmies. Given the depth of between 50 and 100 meters, the Echo Pilot can see out about 80 to 100 meters in front of us, thus giving us time to back down if we were to see a balmy in front of us. So with Z at the bow for lookout, we took off for the east anchorage inside the Makamo Atoll. And then the Echo Pilot beeped and showed a bomby coming up fast. I put Aquarius into full reverse and stopped about 20 meters before hitting the reef. We later found out that Magic had to do the same on a different bomby about the same place. 
Thank God, they were also fitted with forward-looking sonar. Both Magic and Aquarius were lucky. One or both of the vessels could have hit the reef that day, just about here, but both of us were saved by our forward-looking sonars. Yes, we would have been moving slower if not for the forward-looking sonar, but then a five-hour cruise would have taken up to 12 hours, and quite possibly without the forward-looking sonar, it still could have been our last cruise. We got to anchor in a place few get to see. It was amazing. This is Aquarius and Magic looking like they're floating on air. We use the EchoPilot forward-looking sonar whenever we go into water that's less than 30 meters. But the next time the EchoPilot saved us was in Indonesia, just north of Lombok, on the entrance to an anchorage on the island of Gili Luang. This is a completely uncharted area, but we had a path of a previous boat that used the anchorage a few years ago loaded in our open CPN. You can see the previous path here. and you can see our path. And you also see where we had to back down. After we anchored, we put up the drone to see what the entrance looked like, and there it is. There's the balmy. On the way out, we had everything this right. This one is a dangerous and left exit. the reef to starboard as we took off to the next destination. Well, we made it out. Without hitting a bomb. Yeah. Made it in and out without hitting. And what saved our ass? Echo sounder on my own eyes. I really like the position of the Echo Pilot display on Aquarius. If it were mounted in front of me with the rest of the instruments, what's in front of me would be to the right, but this way it's actually forward. It's perfect. I can't take credit for the Echo Pilot or the placement. That was all the previous owner, Jemp. I must say, I need to thank Jemp every day for what he taught me. But what I do know is that Echo Pilot works and it works great at six knots. If you're going cruising around the world or just locally in tight places, I think the forward-looking sonar is an absolute must. Here you can see the installation of the transducer in the forward cabin of Aquarius. Here you can see, hold on a second, this is a better video. Here you can see the transducer from outside Aquarius. It's right there. It sticks out just a bit and we actually hit a log in Columbia and it uh, cracked the transducer. So $500 later we had a working echo pilot again. There are so many places that you might not get to see safely without a forward-looking sonar. And I'm so happy with the echo pilot on Aquarius and quite frankly if I worked for an insurance company, I would not insure a sailing vessel circumnavigating without a forward-looking sonar. If you like this video, give us a like down below and click here to subscribe. That really helps us. And if you want to watch more of us, click one of those.